I'm going to model this uh, ship's wheel for my marine theme or nautical birdhouse. I'm going to bring in an image reference and find the one that I want. Where is it? There it is. Okay, I'm going to position this and then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to turn off the arrow. If the arrow isn't visible, you just uh, click here. Sometimes when you go there, uh, you won't see it. So you click on that. And that will enable me to uh, make it so I can't select it. I'm also going to come over here to the image uh, data or object data properties. Click on transparency and reduce the opacity. Okay, cool. So shift A mesh plane. Edit mode, rotate X90 and M for merge at center. I'm going to bring this vertex down here. Now, this is just one way of, of modeling it. It creates a lot of polys, but I'm not too worried. Okay, so I'm going to control, control, click. And actually, I think I need another point in there. So if that happens, let's go W subdivide and then select that point G to, to grab it. All right, back to there. We control left click for me anyhow the way I've got it set up. I'm gonna zoom in, control left click. And I think from here I want a nice straight line, so I'm just gonna extrude like that. I want another nice straight line, extrude, and I want another one. Okay, and I'm going to continue I think underneath here. And we'll do it all as one nice nice piece okay so I'm going to control left click and come around just laying down points following the perimeter or the outline come to there need to extrude I'll pull in a ways like that okay cool so I've got just one side of this so now I'm going to come over to the modifiers, add modifier screw, and before I do anything, I'm going to add a subdivision surface. I'm, I'm possibly going to go for two, but I might not need it. All right, so that's what it looks like. Now we're going to get this funny end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and apply the screw modifier, and I'm going to hide the image. I'm going to come down here. And I'm going to select this and just before I delete it actually uh, the way I want to do this is I'm going to bring the 3d cursor right to there so I'm going to go shift s cursor selected so I want to get rid of this pinching a couple of ways to do that one way is to do it this way um, let's actually calculate outside uh, in wireframe actually would be better for me to grab just that vertices okay I'll come back so I'm going to take this and I'm going to go E and S and I'm going to come in quite a distance. And I'm going to set E and S and I'm just say merge at center. Okay, so I'm going to select that vertex and control plus to get out to there. And I'm going to look from the front again. And it was right there at the 3D uh, cursor. So I'm going to turn on proportional editing. I'm going to go over to sphere and start pulling down and I'm going to roll my mouse back. So I get a smaller distance. And I'm going to start pulling like this. And we'll have a look at that and see if it, what it looks like. Might come up to two subdivisions. All right, so that's not quite uh, where I want it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play with this a little bit smaller distance. And I still have that pattern. So I'm going to come over to here, and I'm just, I'm just going to try to gently do stuff like that. Now that's not going to be visible anyhow. I want to straighten that out or uh, round it out a bit more. So I'm going to come down to here. And 
I'm satisfied with that. Okay, now I'm gonna come in here, and I think I'll do this by shift alt and click both of those and control B. No, I don't wanna do it like that. Two. Shift alt to click just the edges. Control B. Put edges there like that. Okay. Maybe I will bring one down here. And one up here. Just like that. Just to give it a bit more support. Mm, see if. No, I don't think I want one there. I do want one up here though. Control B. There we go. So there's my piece. Look from the front, let's bring that. Before I do that though, I could leave the rendered subdivisions on two, but the viewpoint just on one. I'll just make it a little easier to, to navigate. I just want to have one look at this. There's a chance I want to bring one more edge loop in here. All right, all right, good enough anyhow. Okay, bring back the reference image, look from the front. I don't want to do this. Shift C. Right back in the middle. Okay. And with that, then I'm not going to UV unwrap this. I'm just going to put a basic material. I'm going to shift the uh, rotate Y 180. Oh, pretty close. I'm going to select the two of them. Shift D. I can actually, yeah, I can rotate around that. It doesn't matter. Rotate Y. 90 shift D rotate Y 45 and shift D rotate Y 90 and that'll give me all of those let's have a look at that okay cool select them all go in just all 10 make sure all my polys are the right way cool all right, back to my empty here. I'm going to bring in a circle, shift A, mesh, circle, and I'm gonna make it 24. Rotate X90, I'm gonna scale it out. There's a bit of a space here, and then it ramps up, it comes across and it ramps down. So E and S will come in, let's go over to wireframe. E and S, come over to that one, and then we'll go E and S, that's good enough, like that. Okay, now I'm going to turn off my image again, so I've got that. Now I think the way I'm going to do this is I'll select it all, extrude out like this, let's look from the side, let's take this whole thing, push it back into the middle scale in the Y and what I need to do is I need to make it thicker than these posts that are gonna go in so a bit more I'll be putting a subdivision surface on this I'm going to shift alt and click that end that uh, whole row and that whole row E and scale in the Y will pull it out so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift alt and click uh, these sharp edges and these ones, I think I'll do that first. Control B, pull like this. Oh, I'm going to roll my mouse up one. And then I'm going to shift alt and click all of these sharp edges. That one there. Just like that. Okay. I had some extra vertices in there, and that was causing my bevel not to work properly. And now I can see it is working properly. Okay. So I do that. Control 2 shade smooth and this is what I have now I like the, the roundness of this I don't think I want it any sharper than that I might need it a little bit thicker though so let's scale this in the Y a bit more and just decide if it needs to be nudged forward just like that okay great so Let's turn on my image again. And I now need to make this piece here. So I'm gonna steal a piece of this. I'm gonna steal, you know what I should do? I'm gonna steal all those polys. 
shifty s to scale p to break them out to an, its own object so there it is now it's going to need to be thicker what i'll do is i'm going to hide that piece for now and come over to this guy all right so let's look from the side let's scale this in the y make sure that these pieces are okay i'll scale it in y a little bit more like that so now what we're going to do is we're going to take both of these fake um, edges and i'm going to turn on individual origins and look from the front b e and s come in a little bit e and s come into here e and s come all the way in just like that with those selected control e bridge edge loops turn off the subdivision surface for a moment now the back is not really going to be visible so i think for this i'm just going to extrude this out e and come out a little ways like that and then we'll come back in and we will bevel this i don't need too many edges probably just one and then i'm going to take all these sharp parts and then we'll come around to the back as well control b i'll put one more in there Let's see what that's looking like with the subdivision surface okay now let's turn off the image and i think that might be okay I'll teach. Oh. and that's what we have so far okay so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to do the dots that go around this i'm going to bring in a cylinder and i'm going to use 16 vertices i'm going to leave the end gone there Go to edit mode and scale it right down. Rotate X90. And then I'm going to select this edge at the top here. And control B. Just do something like that. Round it off. Select that edge. Pull it out. And then X delete that face. And then shade smooth. Just set the origin to geometry on this. And then we'll look with the image in wireframe. And I'm going to bring it up. And we'll scale it so that it fits our model, which is a little different than the diagram. Instead, what I could do is I could I could select that, and set the origin of the 3D cursor, Shift D, and then rotate. Did I get the whole thing? I feel like I'm missing the top of that. No, I did. Go back in wireframe, Shift D, and rotate. Oh, and Shift D, and rotate. Doesn't have to be exact. Okay, let's have a look at that. Okay, looks pretty good. Cool. And then I'm going to take one of these guys. Turn that back on. I'm going to set the origin back to there. Shift D. And just move it into place. 
And I might scale it down just a little bit. Okay, that's my ship wheel. I think I think we've done pretty much what we needed to do. Okay, it looks uh, very cool with the cavity shader and you know and that on there. Take off the overlays. However, you'll notice it's a bit darker here. So I think what I need to do is. A to select everything, go into edit mode, select everything, watch the colors, alt in, recalculate. Yeah, some of my polys were flipped, but now we're okay. All right, cool. Okay, with that done, we're now going to uh, select it all. Control C to copy it, and I'm going to paste it into my other scene. Control V. Move it away with it all selected. I'm going to create a new collection. Let's we'll call it wheel. Now I can select it very easily and scale that down. Let's rotate Z90 minus. again I don't know for sure but I think what I'll do I'm going to do is just rotate this so it's kind of like that and so you're gonna just put it there bring it out and then just rotate it back rotating the Y just kind of leaning against there okay and then I'm going to, as far as the, the shading goes, it's really basic. I'm just going to use those same materials. Uh, a lot of this is going to be white. So now that I select, I made that white, I can select all of these ones. Select that one last and control L materials. And uh, I was thinking I would make, maybe make that, make that red. I don't know what that's going to look like, but uh, this center piece is, would be white. And all of these, let's make that one white, and then grab these ones. That one last, control L materials. Same with these. So, you know, it's not textured with wood, it's just a, a prop to be used in the scene. Okay, there's my camera. Let's just take a shot from here. Okay. 
and there we go we have a ship's wheel